They're just filming off his iPhone. <laughs> yeah. It's just a mic. We have to use the We like to hear you, John. I thought we started. It's all the way up. Start shitting. So we're up.
My name is Ralph Gibson. I play bass and I sing in suede. My name is Ray Anderson. I play the drums in suede. My name is Jonathan. I uh, play the guitar. My name is Brian Perez. I sing and play guitar in suede. Fangirl. Fangirl. I'm the groupie of the group. Uh, I mainly do production and I'm a manager. Community is such an important thing and like I just feel like you guys have started to connect such a lovely community, you know, especially in this space because you guys just also have such a I think a unique like indie we, we we were talking about this we were like how do we think about this like indie funk in the way yeah. that none of us have ever heard it and it's just like i feel like a lot has gone into that right like getting it to this point definitely yeah a lot of influences it's definitely taken time a lot of time to find kind of what we all can appreciate in yeah. our own sound like it didn't start organized yeah. It's still very disorganized. <laughs> yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you guys agree with this, but like it's it's taken like a lot of tries. Like 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 um, I don't know. With it, it starts with jams and then ends with demos, mm -hmm. and then from those demos, it eventually evolves into like fully formed songs. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's that's it's cool. it's, it's, cool. it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I like it because we can change it up almost every time we play. It. It's yeah. Something, it's something different every time. Yeah, he has a diamond in the rough, you know? You see it there <laughs> yeah. and you just make it what, what you want it to. You know, you guys talk about some heavy shit, but like, you know, it's always enjoyable. It always feels, you know, you guys are always reflecting in a way that is, you know, outwards looking, you know, even if, you know, maybe my interpretation, I don't know what you guys, <laughs> but like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, no. So like, how, how do you guys like feel about that? Do you guys feel like, um, you know, the pandemic has shaped, or just even just these times and those experiences that you reference in the songs um, have kind of shaped your outlook on that? Yeah, I mean, I would definitely say uh, we got a couple shows lined up. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, we had to cancel it. Mm -hmm. So I feel like we took that as sort of a step back to more yeah. focus on ourselves, writing songs. You know, Ralph uh, came up with an EP, and as we were talking about BPNJ, we mm -hmm. came up with a couple of songs. And we would still hang and jam and we would develop ideas, which eventually mm -hmm. led to the production of our... First, okay, we took two tries on, yes. our, on the recording of our EP. <laughs> yeah, we uh, the first yeah, try um, was at uh, Sebastian Blue's house. He's actually our pianist, mm. but yeah. he's he is currently uh, in Mexico. In Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, hola. Sebastian. Sebastian. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, we definitely. I at least in, in my opinion, I, I think you're right about like us weathering the pandemic because it was really interesting that we were kind of like on this roll. At least it felt like we were on this roll before yeah. the pandemic, and like we were gonna do all these things and we, yeah. we we're gonna play all these shows, and they all got canceled. Some pretty big shows. Dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were gonna play this uh, festival called Coast Along at UCLA. Whoa. And um, it was really gonna be cool, but oh, honestly, yeah. the pandemic so fun. That was like so a fun. blessing and a curse because we weren't prepared for something like that. Hmm. Honest, I, yeah, for yeah. my opinion, I don't no, think no, we were. no, I agree. And then like completely. we were able to really. Oh, oh my God, that's cold. Um, <laughs> anyways. We were able to really like refine our songs and stuff like that and write stuff and then record. Like we were actually, we kind of cut off on a story earlier where Sebastian, our keyboard player, yeah, yeah. recorded our EP a year ago <laughs> at his at his little makeshift yeah. studio. It turned out okay. It then we okay. redid it with him as our keyboard player mm. earlier, well, late last year, yeah. and it, it turned out much better, which is what you guys hear, heard now. It's on Spotify now. It's clean. It's yeah. clean. It's on which, Spotify. Yes, uh -huh. which thank you for everyone who's listened so far, and thank you for all the praise and all the support that we've had, because honestly, it's 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 crazy. We never thought we'd actually get like that amount of support and people who yeah. actually like listen to our original stuff. It's, it's really cool, because... Uh, we didn't start as a cover band. We would do a lot of covers originally when we would do live shows. Yeah. So it's just it's really cool to know that like we have that backing or like that like someone who can actually come uh, come see us. Because I think there's it. a lot of hunger, you know. Now, because I mean, I think the common line is like, oh, like there's so many opportunities lost and all of this. But, but even in general, like I think that there's just so much hunger for you know new sounds, first of all. Mm -hmm. But also just people that are bringing it right to your doorstep. You know, like how better to experience the music that you love than you know, and like right, like fuck, dude, like sit, standing in that hallway, right, and being there and just. It, being immersed in it was just, you know, I feel like that's what draws a lot of people. You know, people want community, and, and you guys have, like I said, you guys have built one. Um, I mean, are you guys, like, how do you guys feel about that intimacy? 
because I think that that's kind of what I really enjoy about your shows, especially because they've all, at least the ones I've been, they've been in intimate settings. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. um, I feel like it's different because when you're at the forum, you're like a gigantic stage, like, yeah. you're, you know, up there. <laughs> but over here, like, it's I so see, hot. Yeah. It's so hot to see that. <laughs> it's, it's the <laughs> best fucking thing. Because, like, not only does it give you a chance to, like, uh, well, I mean, play something on, like, a smaller scale, but you also get to visually yeah. see the audience's reaction yeah. to mm -hmm. parts of songs yeah. that you're proud of mm -hmm. and just, like, you know, things that you actually get into. Yeah. Um, specifically, well, I, I, at least personally for me, like, that one part in favor part where it goes from, like, the slow song... Um, to the big explosive part like mm -hmm. you can uh, Ralph, has, Ralph has said this um, that depending on that part of the show it defines whether or not it was a good or bad show uh, yeah. like we, sometimes we can, that doesn't hit as hard it, sometimes it doesn't hit as hard and we can tell like oh okay well maybe this isn't the crowd that we're going for like yeah. maybe we aren't doing as good but what, when it does hit it's like oh fine, like we fucking got it yeah. 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 We, we have them you know, in our little you know in our little we're, we're caressing them like a little baby we're yeah trying, no, we're no, trying to nurturing that community yeah we're nurturing as, you know, as much as we can we want to make fans we want to reach out to the community as much as we can Can't come. 